Congratulations, and thank you for your incredible creative contributions to the city of Albuquerque. There are eight awardees this year. Visual arts, music, creative entrepreneurship, media arts, mosaic arts, public arts, muralists, all of which are represented this year. We've got young artists from 23 years old to artists who have been creating for many decades. Mentorship, generosity, collaboration, and community run through the work of all of these incredible creative individuals and organizations. Albuquerque's art scene is vibrant, growing and attracting more and more energy to our city. And Albuquerque artists and creatives are important contributors to our city's past, present, and future. Congratulations to Electric Playhouse and CEO and President John Mark Collins and the entire team of creatives, program, programmers, designers, investors, and the management team. Electric Playhouse's unique brand of active entertainment and flexible digital environment creates an engaging space for visitors of all ages. Electric Playhouse produces immersive and interactive creative experiences, including games that require no goggles or equipment. Alongside delicious food, dining, and special events, Electric Playhouse also works in our community with museums, including Explora and the Albuquerque Balloon Museum, to design and create new educational creative experiences for visitors. Electric Playhouse is an exciting and inspirational example of locally grown creative entrepreneurship that has a positive impact on our city and will continue to have in years to come. Okay, well, congratulations! The Creative Bravo Award this year is going to Electric Playhouse for creative entrepreneurship, creative business, and just all around amazingness in the city of Albuquerque. Um, we know you're going a lot of places next in the world. We're so glad you started in Albuquerque. And so here is your creative award for your creative work. Thank you very much. Yay! Very grateful. Electric Playhouse, you know, came out of my first company, Story Lab, which the impetus there was to build a business where we did kind of large scale social immersive experiences, but for other clients. And that was in late 2016, I started the business and late 2017, we did our first dining experience, which, you know, I spent a lot of years in the hospitality industry. So it was something I wanted to do. And so we started planning it in early 2017, found the restaurant. Uh, and, you know, once we did that, that was our first kind of direct to consumer event. Uh, everything else had been working with museums and other, other clients that were, you know, had their own audience. You know, they were a lot, of, a lot of fun, but also a lot of work to put on. And so we started talking about how we could build our own space and you know, we rent a little box and bring in caterers and, and, you know, it started with just the idea of doing dinners. And then, you know, say, so we said, well, we've got all this technology to do this tracking. Why don't we start building other things? And the first thing was some ball games that we built. Uh, and then we started to do a bunch of other large scale motion tracking things. And what started out as just a place to do some private events turned into this big family entertainment center thing. We were kind of pointing the right direction. Brandon came in and helped us both with the architecture side, but also adding some more order to it. And then, you know, with, with the combination of of Paul and, and Adam and David really, really took off from there. And that's when we started raising money and actually started Electric Playhouse at the end of 2018. It's like walking inside a video game is, is the way that we like to talk about it. And, you know, the building itself is like a giant interactive movie theater because we have 21 different interactive spaces, all of which can be playing different content at any time and all of which track your motion and your body. So sometimes they're very art driven. Sometimes it's, it's a specific game. Sometimes it's a, uh, you know, interactive flamenco, which we did for Valentine's Day. So it really is intended to be kind of the community center of the 21st century. You know, appeals to adults, kids, changes all the time. So there's lots of different things going on. It's both been exciting and challenging, uh, a little, you know, anxiety uh, build, but at the same time, it's been a really, it's been a huge growth journey for me. Uh, so we're going to keep Albuquerque is going to be our home base. Uh, you know, we'll, ha we'll have the Albuquerque location we might grow up to other locations in the state at some point, but our, our real goal is to get to the surrounding states. We're, we're intending to, to grow as, as quickly as we can, but also, you know, really building really cool things that aren't available in other locations. I think that because of the way the city and the way that the state is set up in terms of lots of, of really intelligent developers on the software side and scientists, 
but then also, you know, this underground art culture, you know, maybe started in some ways in Santa Fe, but Albuquerque's got its own too, that, you know, you really have an interesting mix between technology and art here that you don't have anywhere else in the country. You know, we just kind of were going 100 miles an hour when we opened early in the year. And so to be able to actually go look back at it and say, this worked, this didn't work at all, look at the reviews online, get some feedback. I mean, you don't really get a chance as a creator to stop right in the middle of what you're doing, back up, look at it with no one still coming in and say, well, how can we make this better? You know, so it's, you know, it's a little bit of a blessing in disguise in some ways. We're allowed to, we're allowed to sit back and look at it, fix it. And we you get this opportunity to do that where we might not otherwise, you know, it's a trade-off obviously on the revenue, but as a creator, it's great because we, now we can see see what went wrong and we have time to get in there and fix it. I think the only other, the only other thing I'd like to add is that, you know, we didn't get a chance to get where we wanted to last year or 2020, but in the future, we are a certified B Corp. And so our intent is that we will eventually get our build into completely, you know, neutral in terms of its power usage. We're adding solar to the roof, one of the first buildings to use the new PACE program in, in the state of New Mexico. Uh, we're also adding a lot of other, you know, not just energy, but uh, sustainability features. And, and that's something we really wanna push out. Yeah, you know, I think we use a lot of power. We wanna make sure that we're sustainable and, and look into the future. So that's, that's really important to us. But yeah, I mean, we're very grateful for the award. Again, the community has been a big driver for us from you know, our, our very specific partners, but just from the, the resounding support that, we, that we've gotten. You know, we got the USA Today nomination for best new attraction of the year nationally. And you know we're beating out like places that were that have thousands of employees, like the Houston Botanical Garden, uh, in terms of votes. So it's you know there's something about the community here that it really, you know, thank you, thank you for 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 supporting the, the arts community, and thank you for the city of Albuquerque and its inhabitants for for supporting us.